Hello friends how are you I hope you will find England women can surpass Andy Murray and Lionel Messi whenever I think back to that night. I can almost sense the hair standing up again on the back of the neck. It has been a privilege to watch England's men finally win a penalty shootout and then reach a major final dot a joy to report as British athletes struck gold after gold in our very own Olympics in 2012. Standing awestruck you could not see sitting down as Andy Murray conquered Wimbledon, twice, and the world, once. With that Davis Cup winning backhand lob in Belgium, being there as Lionel Messi cemented his status as the greatest footballer of all time by winning the World Cup, undoubtedly. The spine-tingling delight of seeing the Lionesses win Euro 2022 at Wembley 12 months ago holds just as precious a place among all of that. Watching England win the World Cup on Sunday, even from half a world away, could trump the LOT.my mum and I were glued to the semi-final together from the same hopefully lucky spot. She is not usually much of a fan, it is the first match we have watched together even on TV for more than 30 years, that is what the Lionesses have been doing for the country, last summer and this. Bringing families together. I coached a women's team in the early 1990s. Just as the first wave of schoolgirls who had finally been encouraged to play the national sport as part of the national curriculum were coming through to the senior game. Women's football was very much still a fledgling sport, emerging from the shadowed recesses of a long and niche history. Just 30 years later, it is shining a beacon of light for us all to clamor towards. Winning the World Cup is now every English girl's dream as much as it is the dream of any English boy and today the lionesses can make. Those dreams come true. Come on, England!